This video is sponsored by WrestlingMasterclass.com. Hello and welcome to another edition of Survival Series, the show where I reopen old wounds. Today, I'm joined by Luke Owen. How's it going, everyone? Looking to redeem myself. Today, I'm joined by your Survival Series champion, Dan Layton. Mm, every stone in my gauntlet coming to fruition. Never letting this go, am I? You keep track of your stones. Oh, I do. I've got a lovely little colouring book at home and a wall chart with gold stars on it. But that's whether or not I wear the bed. I'm just like everyone else, no matter how many stars I have. Um, 74. Hello there. Who am I being? Hello there. Sort of a mix between me and Luke. I'm being you. It's a great impression. There. I don't say there. Luke says hello there. Hello there. Hello there. Hello there. Hello there. About to redeem yourself? Absolutely. I have nothing but confidence in my ability to spout exactly the knowledge required. If you're watching this show for the first time, make sure, of course, you check out our Patreon, patreon.com forward slash Russell Talk, where you can see a full uncut version of this show every single month and an exclusive episode of this show every single month. And if you're watching this for the first time, you'll need to know that each of our competitors will be given three strikes to name a very specific wrestling category in reverse chronological order. Today, Pete Quinnell. Yes. I need you mm -hmm. to name me yes. every single Roman Reigns Universal title defense in reverse chronological order. What? No. That's not the thing I, I learned. That's not the thing I revised. That's wrong. That's that's the, that's the wrong category. Give me another one. <laughs> Good luck. Interesting. 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 Oh no. Okay. Huh. Okay. That's not too bad, actually, because there's not many. Not these days. <laughs> The only bit of admin that we have here is that I will be giving you the next show. Okay. Right. Okay, that's that would be helpful. That's good admin. Have you ever in your life experienced good admin before? Because most admin is just like terrifying tax stuff. This was good admin. I appreciate that. That was fun. All right. Second point of admin. We're including his current title, like the unified title, even though it's not the universal title anymore. That counts, right? Yes. Okay, cool. You starting with uh, WrestleMania 40, which is uh, Rock versus Roman, yeah? No, <laughs> because in theory, he's gonna lose the belt this time. <laughs> it's not happening. Wrong, sir. Wrong. Ever dreamt of breaking into the professional wrestling business as a wrestler, promoter, booker, commentator, referee, journalist, podcaster, YouTube star, or another key role? Wrestling Masterclass is a historic online course featuring over 70 HD video lessons, podcasts, and seminars with some of the world's top wrestling experts, both in the ring and behind the scenes, including Will Ospreay, Raven, Dutch Mantel, Doug Williams, Mike Kyoda, and so many more. Start your journey today at WrestlingMasterclass.com. Royal Rumble 2024. I watched this. Let me go, let me go, because I, I watched it at my friend's place. Kyle, my friend Kyle and Aaron hosted their Royal Rumble party back in Vancouver. So I watched this surrounded by friends. I can tell you what all the best inside jokes from that were. And I can tell you which matches I enjoyed. And then by the time it got to Roman Reigns' title defense, things had devolved a fair bit. Let me see what I can remember from that. Uh, that is the four way. So that is Randy Orton, AJ Styles, and LA Knight. Yeah. Randall Keith Orton, Alan Jane Styles, Lucretius Aurelius Knight. I enjoyed that. Had a little sip. Four way match against AJ Styles. Randy Orton and LA Knight. Yeah! It should have just been a singles match against Randy Orton. This was Roman Reigns versus AJ Styles, LA Knight, and Randy Orton. AJ Styles, LA Knight, yeah! And Randy Orton, who I call Matron Mama Orton. Ding! Explain yeah. why. <laughs> yeah, explain why. Uh, because if you recall from the hit musical Chicago, there's Matron Mama Morton, uh, who's played by Queen Latifah in the film. Uh, he just gives off that same kind of like mother hen prisoner guard vibes to me. Crown Jewel 2023. 
is LA Knight. Yeah. Well, that was LA Knight. Oh, I nearly said the wrong thing. It's LA Knight, yeah. I nearly said Logan Paul. That one was just the LA Knight singles match. LA Knight. Crown Jewels, LA Knight, yeah. SummerSlam 2023. Main event, Jey Uso. Main event, Jey Uso. Jey Uso. Tribal Combat match, that's Jey Uso. Jey Uso? WrestleMania 39. Oh my God. I remember it clear as day. What a wonderful, I, I walked in on air and then I left there with scorch marks from Pete's death stare. <laughs> my boy Cody Rhodes. <laughs> something, something Cody Rhodes. Cody Rhodes. Cody Rhodes is rubber chicken. Oh, yeah! Hi, me, Cody Rhodes. Ding. <laughs> Elimination Chamber 2023. Sami Zayn. Sami Zayn, let's go. One of the most incredible moments in recent wrestling times, it's Sami Zayn. That's Sami Zayn. Um, accessing my mind palace. What's his name, what's his name? I got nothing on a name. Come on, baby, what's the name? Kevin Owens? That is your first strike. Oh! Sami Zayn. Royal Rumble 2023. Kevin Owens. Kevin Owens. That would have been Kevin Owens, uh, but the real main event was the angle that came afterwards. And that was where the Sami Zayn angle happened, which means it is Roman versus Kevin Owens. Kevin Owens. They come as a pair. They sh you should be able to interchange them. The interswiped. They're both. The they're one of the two sides of the same coin. They're like a Gemini. All Canadians are basically interchangeable. Yeah, to be honest, we are. I mean, we could swap chairs right now. Absolutely. Put me in a mask. You're ready to go. Crown Jewel 2022. 2022 feels like so long ago. This is it, right? I feel like I was listening to Britney Spears' book. And she was talking about things that happened in 2022. And I was like, well, that was like, how have you got, had time to write about that? And yet also it's like both yesterday and ages ago. So I, I'm buying myself time with this story. Saudi Arabia. Oh, Logan Paul. Logan Paul? So this is where I nearly lost a strike on Crown Jewel 2023. 2022 was Logan Paul. Logan Paul. Shizen. Um, that was not my answer. That is simply an expression. in the mind. Thank God there's no time limit. Too many crickets. Uh, let's go with Brock Lesnar. That is your second strike. Uh, Logan Paul? Ding. <laughs> Clash at the castle. Drew McIntyre. Famous Dang. Welshman, Drew McIntyre. <laughs> <laughs> In his hometown. Dioffenwald. Wales. <laughs> Drew McIntyre. That was the first time we all thought Roman should have dropped the belt. Drew McIntyre. I was going to say a joke name then, but I, I don't even want to risk a, a joke strike. Drew McIntyre. It was not. It was Tyson Fury, actually, <laughs> singing a song. <laughs> Ding. Drew McIntyre? Ding. SummerSlam 2022. Oh, I don't know. Brock. Hmm. Hmm. That's an interesting one, isn't it? I don't. I just. Oh! Big truck. Brock Lesnar. Now, this one I don't know instantly off the top of my head. Let's think about it. SummerSlam 22. Who did he slam that summer? <laughs> Who did he slam? Who did he slam that summer? It wasn't me. I wish. He's a father. I should be more respectful. So the WrestleMania title defense that year was of course against Copeland and Daniel Bryan. Sometimes foreshadowing is relatively obvious. Brock Lesnar. Ah, because this is the show Triple H took control of, coincides with WWE, just pure coincidence. Getting very good creatively. Now Triple H will push me, I'm gonna get the TV time now. Lesnar tried to tip over the ring with a digger. I think this might be the forklift one. You know, the one, Brock Lesnar. Was that one Brock Lesnar? Ding. <laughs> Smackdown. Smackdown 
2022. Oh God. Let's see. Okay. There's some TV. There's some TV on here. Hmm. Oh, hoodie smack. Hoodie smack. Kevin Owens. And Tegan, that is your third strike. Oh. I need you to take off your mic and get the f out. That was my best yet. Bye. Get, get this bum out of here, will you? Get, just get this bum out of here already, huh? I wasn't watching. It wasn't in the Thunderdome at that stage, which for me feels like it wasn't Daniel Bryan. Oh, uh, Matt Riddle? Ding! Yes. That would be Matt Riddle. Defending his belt on SmackDown. I know Riddle has a match at some point on television, and Cesaro has a match, but I think that's at a pay-per-view. I have no idea who this person could, could possibly be. Did all our time reviewing SmackDown together mean nothing to you, Pete? I, look, it meant something. Just not enough to remember who Roman Reigns defended his belt against. I thought what we had was special! Was it Matt Riddle? Ding. Thanks. Would it have just been a quick one against like, Sammy as like a proof of joining the bloodline or something? Probably not. I, I've just got to say a name. This is a name that just came to my head. I'm just going to go with it. Matt Riddle? Ding! Ah! <laughs> Somewhere lost in here, there's something. There's something in here. It did mean something to you. <laughs> WrestleMania 38 is Brock Lesnar. I've already said this one. It is Brian Danielson versus Adam Copeland. That is your first strike. What? What? Oh, that's 2021. That's Brock Lesnar again. That one I do know. That's Brock Lesnar. Well, I know what I know what the previous, I know what 2021's WrestleMania was. Ah, I'm gonna hate it when I watch this back and quite confidently talking about Brian and Copeland earlier on. So the WrestleMania title defense that year was of course against Copeland and Ben. What an idiot! <laughs> Shameless. Shame. Don't, it's, I'm just trying to see if it dislodges anything. It's Brock Lesnar again. Because the SummerSlam match was billed as, don't worry, it's the last one. <laughs> and it is, yeah. Well, yep. We can all agree that now. Elimination Chamber 2022. Oh, crikey. That is in Saudi. Oh God, he wasn't in the chamber, was he? I didn't see this one. Okay, well, this is an interesting one. Oh no, I'm, I'm thinking of 2021 again. <gasps> I was gonna say Daniel Bryan. Is there a joke match? It's not like Ricochet, is it? Like, he usually gets given that sort of thing. Is it in Saudi? Yes. I feel like it was in Saudi. Uh, oh, that's the, uh, Goldberg. Elimination Chamber 2022. Was that in Saudi Arabia? Yes. I think it was. Is this the Goldberg? Goldberg. Ding. Ah. Oh. Who on earth could that be? Oh, who did they pay loads of money to have a match at Saudi? Who on earth could that be? <gasps> Rey Mysterio. That is your first strike, Luke. I was pretty confident on that as well. Edge. That is your first strike, Dan. Oh, do I use a second strike now? Is it Dom? Is it a joke match? It's Dominic Mysterio. Why do I think it's the Mysterions? <laughs> Sorry, there's a bird in here. So... <laughs> uh, there's always a shout. There's a Saudi show, so it could be Goldberg. He needs a filler feud because he's Brock's won the Rumble, and it's going to be Roman Brock at Mania. But Brock's also like winning the WWE title in all of this with bubbles. So Roman needs a filler feud. Just why Ray's a perfect choice? Why aren't you Ray? Surely it wasn't. Well, they didn't have the match at WrestleMania, so maybe this was that thing of like, let's have the match now. Sod it. Goldberg? Ding! Hey, they put it to bed. Appreciate you. <gasps> Goldberg! Ding! Yeah! Of course it's Goldberg. Do you know how I know? I looked at this belt. I looked at this belt. I was like, who's won this belt? <gasps> Goldberg won this belt. Royal Rumble 2022. If in doubt, it's Kevin Owens. Them at the Rumble, it's Kevin Owens. But let's shelve that for a second. Let's think. Kevin Owens. That is your second strike. What's happening here? Why aren't people wrestling on the shows that I think they wrestle on? That's Seth Rollins. Seth. Mm, no, it wasn't because it was 
KO at Rumble 21, at 22, it was the DQ loss. It was Seth Rollins. I feel like he's around still a fair bit. Uh, I've got one strike left. Don't take this. Sure you're working. I think it's Seth Rollins because they, I remember him doing the entry through the crowd in the shield gear, Seth Rollins. Ding. Hopefully we'll get to a year that I actually remember. Smackdown. <laughs> Is this Ray? Oh, who would he face on Smackdown? It's not anyone from the bloodline. I feels like something AJ Styles would do. <laughs> How many strikes have I had? You have lost one. I've lost one, all right. Again, let's do the work. Let's do the work. This, oh, it, it was so much easier when he wasn't on every single show. So there's an argument to be made that your champ should be part-time. Will I make it here? Not now. Ray. That is your second strike. For sake, Ray. Why won't you challenge for this belt, Ray? So 2021 was when Woods won King of the Ring. So he might have had a match against him here because I can remember Rain stomping on Woods' crown, which looked really stupid because it was made out of plastic. That's the only name that's coming to mind. Let's just say it. Xavier Woods. That is your first strike, Pete. No, that's not good. If this was five years before this reign, I could see them doing a title defense against like a nobody, a, jo a glorified job match. But that, that hasn't been part of Roman's reign from what I can remember. So I think it was at least a credible mid card. I swear Danielson was in the Thunderdome. Cesaro may not have been. Let's try that one. Cesare. That is your second strike. They ask you how you are, you just have to say that you're fine when you're not really. I'm a moron as well. Of course it's not the Mysterions, because Dom was still involved and Dom turned on... Wait, no, I just did Clash of the Castle. What year am I in? 2020? My the, the most recent answer you have given is Royal Rumble 2022. So I'm in 2021. Okay. All right, so the Mysterions are still together then because that turn happened to Clash. Woods fits perfectly. Why isn't it Woods? He won the thing and then Big E was there at Survivor Series. Who else would it have been? Oh, I need to say another name and I don't want to. Kofi Kingston. That is your second strike. Ah! Maybe it is Dom. Maybe it's Dominic Mysterio. Maybe it's Austin Theory. Could have been Austin Theory. I think it's on Raw though. Probably wasn't Austin Theory. I'm just going to go for it. It's a, it's a guess, though. AJ Styles. AJ Styles. Dominic Mysterio. Rey Mysterio. All right, lads. Somehow we found ourselves in this brand new situation. <laughs> <laughs> this is, but it's kind of fitting because Roman's last title defense is we're recording this. Oh, yeah. Was it Fatal four-way. Four way. Way. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I haven't got Solar Security. Wait, come on, help who's who? <laughs> oh, God. Okay, well, so I'm um, Roman. Yeah, thank you, thank you so yeah, much. Roman. All right. Yeah. AJ. Randy! <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I'm AJ, obviously. Because of TNA. 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 Yeah, yeah, yeah. I yeah. thought you were going to say because of the hair. <laughs> yeah. No, I'm yeah. The TNA. Yeah. Yeah. I guess that means I'm LA right because I just said yeah. Yeah. Randall. Roman. Mm. There you go. Oh, he's Dan's winning. Damn it. Don't speak too soon. Yeah. Because even though it has been a while, it's been a while, <laughs> we have <laughs> indeed <laughs> had a tiebreaker before. We have a precedent set. Trivia time. How long in days, Price is Right rules, closest without going over, was the longest gap between Roman Reigns' title defenses? 56. 68. 98. Oh, wait, balls. Yeah, I think I went low. Mm -hmm. can, I, can I buzz in again with anyone? No! <laughs> 89. And ladies and gentlemen, your new no. champion is Oliver Gale. Oh, <laughs> yes! Yeah! 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 yeah. Oh. oh my god, I never did. <laughs> Apart from that one time. Alright. The Sasha Banks of the briefcase. Yay! Yay. <laughs> <laughs> what was the answer? 125 yeah. days. Mm -hmm. <laughs> that was so way off. Yeah, because it was like all of Wrestle... <coughs> it was, it was Last year's WrestleMania through to SummerSlam. So yeah, but it was exactly also SummerSlam through Royal Rumble, right? Like, no, it was Crown Jewel in Oh, yes. This feels nice, right? It does. What an anti-climax. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Randy won. <laughs> I hate it when Randy wins.
from out of nowhere. Thank you as always for watching Survival Series, but before we go, make sure you check out WrestlingMasterclass.com. The link is in the description below, where you will find all the information you could possibly ever need to know about a career in pro wrestling from industry leaders like Dutch Mantel, Raven, and Will Ospreay. Start your journey today at WrestlingMasterclass.com.